Good morning, friends. Today I'm going to show you my style Japanese breakfast on a budget along with how my morning looks. Let me show you the ingredients first. Onion, green pepper, carrot, tomato, garlic, rice, eggs, miso paste, meringue, soy milk, bouillon cube, salt, and we also need a soy sauce and oil, which I assume most of you have one at home. We're gonna make four dishes. The total comes out to be about 400 Japanese yen, which is about four US dollars per serving. Now we are starting with miso carrot cream soup. I have been showing you lots of miso soup recipes on this channel, so we decided to go different directions with miso today. Roughly chop the carrot. We're gonna puree them later, so it doesn't really matter how big it is. The bigger it gets, longer to be cooked. Chop onion and tomato into wedges. Again, any size is okay. By the way, a typical Japanese breakfast is composed of rice, soup, along with one main dish, usually the fish and egg. Also, a couple side dishes. I already made a recipe video about most standard Japanese breakfast, so let me leave the link for you in the description box. In the heavy bottom pot like mine, add one tablespoon of oil. I'm using rice oil, but any high smoking point oil will do. Then add carrot and onion all at once. Sprinkle two good pinch of salt to extract the flavor from the vegetables. Let the veggie coat it with the oil. Pop the lid and steam it over low heat until the carrots are wilt. Stir them occasionally to prevent them from burning. And meanwhile, let's work on the green peppers. Remove the seed, then thinly slice it. When you cut in half, then remove the seed. There will be lots of seed scattering on your cutting board, so try this way. Cut off the top first, then twist and take out the seed. In a way, there won't be much mess and less wasting. Mince or crush the garlic. And for the sauce, just mix one and a half tablespoon of miso paste and one tablespoon of mirin. I'm using yellow miso here. Then give it a good mix until it's well combined. To know more about the Japanese condiments, watch my Japanese pantry essential videos. And let's check on the soup. Carrots are newly, fully cooked and caramelized. At this point, add tomato. Give it a good mix, then pop the lid. Cook it all for another 5 minutes over small heat. And for the main dish, I make carrot egg omelette. Shred carrot into thin match sticks. It's 6.30 in the morning. My kids are waking up now. My elder one is always clingy and fussy in the morning, so I always make sure to get my 60% cooking done before they wake up. Back to the kitchen, clock 3x. Whisk them together until the egg white and egg yolk are cohesive. Now it's time to finish up the soup. After a couple minutes, the moisture from the tomato has been extracted and it becomes a lot more soupy. Make sure the carrot is fully cooked by using a spoon. If the spoon goes through without any resistance, it's time to add the liquid. I have two and a half cup of soy milk. You can use any milk you have on hand. And make sure to scrape off the yumminess. I love this recluse pot for making soup, stew, and rice. Let me leave the link for you in case you need one. And followed by a bouillon cube, 
I added one, then I realized it's going to be too salty, so rescuing now before it's fully dissolved. We are going to add the miso paste later, so we don't want to over season it at this point. <laughs> When the bouillon cube is fully dissolved, time to puree them. I'm using an immersion blender, but standing blender will be perfectly okay. Just make sure to let it cool down, otherwise it's gonna cause an explosion. I want the soup to be nice and creamy. Looking good? At this point, add about 2 teaspoons of miso paste. And make sure to taste it before you serve. If it's too salty, go ahead and add more milk or it's too bland, add salt. I actually made this one the night before so that I can save my time in the kitchen next day. It also freezes beautifully, so perfect for the meal prep. I try to tidy up as I cook it. And from now, two dishes will come out in less than 10 minutes. Back to the omelette, to a pan on high heat, add oil. Again, any type of oil with high smoking point will do. And then goes carrot, season with the salt, and stir them as it's coated with the oil. Pop the lid and steam it until the carrots are lightly whirled. Just like we did for the soup, it's the key to bring out more natural flavor and sweetness from the carrot so that we can keep the seasoning very simple. And sprinkle 1 teaspoon of sugar along with half teaspoon of fish stock powder or comb stock powder. Then give it a good mix. And now it's time to add eggs. The name of the game here is go low and slow. As it starts to cook, gently scrape off the bottom of the pan to let the egg curdle up. When the surface is still runny off the heat and we're gonna plate them up. The last one guys, for the green pepper, heat 1 tablespoon of toasted sesame oil. <laughs> then goes minced garlic and green pepper. Stir them for 2 minutes over meat heat and we want the green pepper to be al dente. Lower the heat and add miso mixture. Cook it all for another 1 minute and that's it. Now let me show you how I assemble everything. Now time to eat! Just a quick update, my elder one started his kindergarten this month and my family is still in the transition of new life. I especially have to make two bento boxes now every morning. For daily food life, please follow me on the Instagram at Miwa Japanese Cooking Class. Tag me if you make any of my recipes. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you on the next one. Bye bye, matane!